this is Mason, and I want to thank you guys for the great response to my challenge to black men. And all you black men who, who high five me, I appreciate that, and I understand. I understand what's going on. And I want to talk about that a little bit more today. I just came from a store, and I saw a, a mother with her two children, a black woman, with two, ch two children, and they're acting up. And the mother getting very frustrated with the children, told the little boy, come here and quit acting smart. And I'm wondering, why not act smart? What is it about black people that we think intelligence, showing intelligence may be negative? I'll tell you why. It came from the plantation. It was against the law for black folks to read and to write. It was against the law for us to, to, to show intelligence. So to read in public was dangerous, not just for yourself, but for, for the family. To be able to speak English properly with a sign of arrogance on your part. So we, out of protection, we discourage our children to show intelligence. We discourage our children to show that they had a desire to learn. It was a protective mechanism. But today, folks, we're free. Your child should act intelligent. Your child should believe they can read. They should do it publicly. When you still send your kids to these gang prep schools, they will not learn to read because master still does not want your children to read. They don't want your children to, to be able to study and find the evidence that he is lying. So, quit acting smart, let's act smart. Another saying I hear all the time is, don't forget where you came from. I understand what that means. Don't forget your roots. Don't forget the lessons that you had from the past. But I have a better saying. To me, it's better. Don't forget where you're going. You're going to freedom. You came from slavery. You're going to prosperity. You came from poverty. You're going to the future. You came from the past. I am leaving a legacy for my kids and my grandkids and great grandkids. How many out here know who your great 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 grandparents are? Who's your great 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 grandfather? Do you know who that is? Most of us don't know because our great 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 grandfather did not leave us an inheritance. Had your great 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 grandfather left you something, you would have a plaque in your home honoring him. You would know his history. You would know his studies. You would have words of wisdom. I am leaving words of wisdom for my great 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 grandkids. Wouldn't you like to have a letter or a tape from your ancestors about the future and what they see in the past? Let's stop letting other folks tell us things. You know, babies in the black community are being born to unwed couples, unmarried people. That's negative. You wanna know what a real anchor baby is? A baby anchoring you for generations to poverty. Let's turn ourselves around and do what we know works, folks, because what has worked has always worked. This is Mason, stay right or be left.